Hello, I am here to try to help explain the Bosch Miser process for producing synthetic urea. Now, you may be saying urea, as in P? Well, yes, it is that form of urea. However, it is actually an incredibly useful substance. Because of its nitrogen content, it is useful as a fertilizer. But it's also very useful in skincare products, as it can help hydrate the skin. Rather ironically, it's even good as a flavor enhancer for cigarettes, as you can see right here. The reasoning behind the use of synthetic urea instead of organic urea can be simplified to three main factors. Synthetic urea is cheap and is easy to produce, and it can be easily mass produced. It would be hard to farm enough urea to meet 140 megatons of demand. The method was developed in 1922 and is still useful due to its simplicity and the fact that it is fairly cheap. It only needs ammonia and carbon dioxide, whereas other methods use ammonia and silver chloride, which is much more costly. It involves two equations both of which are equilibrium. Here is the first equation. This is ammonia and carbon dioxide. It's an equilibrium with ammonium, ammonium carbonate. Now, this is a exothermic reaction, meaning that it will release heat. This means that, in general, you want to keep it cool, because you lower this, you end up increasing that as these two go down to attempt to make more heat. This is an example of Le Chatelier's principle in action. And this is what you need to do if you want to maximize your use of this. In the next equilibrium is the decomposition of the ammonium carbonate into urea and water. This process is endothermic, so that means that the heat is on this side. This means that you want to heat it up as much as you can, because the more you heat it up, the more of this will get used up, meaning the more of your precious urea will be produced. So, to summarize, we have urea. In our first equation, Keep it cool, you can get more of this ammonium carbonate and less and more of the substance uh, and more of the reactant is used up. Whereas here, in the second step, we want to keep it hot. The hotter it is, the more we can convert into urea and water. As you can see it's a fairly simple two step process. I hope I've shed some light and thank you for listening.